I got Outside, Sick of It All, Addison Ray, Homicide, Manic, and Eye to Eye. So you know what? Fan already. There you go. There's the proof. If you guys didn't believe me that I, that I F with this band, okay? I'm not just like jumping on the Eye to Eye trend. I've been meaning to make a video about this band for a long time. And honestly, I feel kind of bad doing it on like their a cover song. Like I feel like, first of all, I'm a giant fan of Magnolia Park. I think they have some terrific music. I think they're extremely talented. And I think that they're one of those bands who are taking advantage of the viral potential of like TikTok, Instagram, and they're out there. They're putting themselves out there. Like, what's the point of staying underground in a world where it's like, yo, you could one viral video on the internet could literally change the course of your band forever. And not to say that they're just a viral band. They're actually extremely talented. I think they're one of the bands kind of carrying the pump pop, pop punk genre, doing extremely well. And you know what? They sound so terrific. I think that they sound so good. And I think pop punk in general is like a very underrated genre. And these guys are doing very right by it. If you even consider them pop punk i do i guess i don't know if they do and i'm sorry if you don't to be honest i'm sorry magnolia park if you do not consider yourself pop punk i apologize for just like <laughs> labeling you either way though they just dropped eye to eye which guys i am actually low-key super stoked about this for like multiple different reasons reason number one is i'm really good friends with juju straw hat goofy most importantly, Dimitri, Dim Meech, and Cleo Thomas. Like, the three of us are, are, are really decent friends. I actually just hung out with th two of those three guys this weekend. I hung out with Cleo not too long ago. And, of course, you know what? Without them, I, here's a, here's a freaking hot take. Without those three, I do not think that the Goofy movie, Powerline, and these songs would have made the resurgence in 2024 that it did. And I'm going to stand by that. And you know what? If it wasn't for them, would these guys even have covered the song? I don't know. Maybe they would have, but I, I truly don't know. Good friends with those guys. I heard the song about 50 times this weekend because every club, every freaking bar plays it when they walk in, which is like, oh my gosh. But enough about them. Let's talk about Magnolia Park because I really love this band. And I think that, that there's, a, there's a weird line between covering songs that are terrific because eye to eye is a very well written song it still holds up today so they're, they're kind of running into an interesting situation of don't fix what's don't fix what's not broken and you kind of have to keep your original sound but also like don't reinvent the wheel right it's it's like this is tough i think of all the bands who could do it these guys are gonna do it if like asking alexandria said yo we're gonna cover eye to eye i'm like bro pop goes punk is not really a thing anymore and it's like do we we don't need an unnecessary screaming breakdown in eye to eye i wouldn't mind just hearing like the updated drums the updated guitar the updated you know like vocals in certain areas that that's what i want to hear from eye to eye i don't necessarily need like a chugging verse two or a screaming breakdown or any of that stuff i don't even need a breakdown i just need the song eye to eye done in a very well way and i think like this band can do it and i hope everything i'm saying right now is true you know what maybe there's some bias though because i really like this song and i really like this band so we'll see i'll give them the, the real opinion here but i i think that these guys are really gonna knock this out of the park fingers crossed let's just hit this in three two one go who knows though Already sounds good, right? Dude. <laughs> I'm sorry I haven't done any other videos on this band. I gotta wait for the cover. I got myself a notion. Yeah. It's all going to come down to the chorus and the transition into the chorus. Yeah. Yo. What did I tell you guys? What did I tell you? What? Dude. This is what I needed. This is what I needed. It's the wall shit coming between us. Too high, too kind, too hard to break through. I know that love will lead us and find a way to bring me to you. So tell me in a ray. Think before you count us out. Oh, and you don't have to worry. 
tough transitions here. Yeah. Vocals are freaking crispy, bro. He's very talented. Okay, let's go. This bridge is exactly what I wanted. I didn't know what I wanted. We're going to listen to it again because it's so good. I just, you know, th they could have taken this bridge in a couple different ways. And if you guys grew up in the Punk Goes Pop era, you kind of know that bridges just get ridiculous. And it's like, they just try to outdo <laughs> everything. It's like, yo, we can throw in the gnarliest breakdown in the bridge. This bridge just fits in so well. And I was like, okay, I don't, I can't remember off the top of my head, like what the bridge of eye to eye sounded like, but I'm like, I know that there is a bridge and I was really hoping this band would stay right by it dude they absolutely nailed it of course there's like i'm gonna guess they're gonna go into like a little bit of a slow chorus afterwards which i'm very excited about and i'm sorry that i just rambled on for no reason and killed the momentum of this video but just vibe with me for a sec right here oh yeah Ooh. see the updated vocals the updated guitar updated drums this is exactly what we want Yo, did you guys hear that like vocal switch on the last chorus, dude? Okay, you know, oh, this might be one of my favorite just covers that I've heard in a minute. Right here. Hits, dude. Uh, boom! Then they kind of hit this like little bridge again. Oh. Okay, all right. You know what? While we're here, let me just pull my uh, phone up really quick. Dun dun dun. Like songs. Let me just tell you what I got. Uh, what I got on the. Magnolia. Okay, I've got. <laughs> you know, I typed in Magnolia into into Spotify. I've got Magnolia from Texas in July from One Reality. Okay, whatever. I got Outside, Sick of It All, Addison Ray, Homicide, Manic, and Eye to Eye. So you know what, fan already. There you go. There's the proof. If you guys didn't believe me that I, that I f with this band, okay, I'm not just like jumping on the Eye to Eye trend. Even though this song was absolutely terrific, I think you know there's a giant list of songs out there that that need this kind of like updated sound and updated drums, vocals, guitar, and not necessarily because the old song is bad, but because bands like this are just kind of like leading the charge on the sound that's like just updated, in my opinion. I think pop punk is a great vehicle for bands and songs like this. Like nothing against Our Last Night, and I'm not going to make this video or this portion about Our Last Night. They're doing like the pop covers and like we got it, we get it. And they've done, like, some of these old things. Like, dude, I don't know, man. I'm low-key. I'm just going to say this. Like, Our Last Night could not do what Magnolia Park just did in this song. Do I want these guys to cover Stand Out? Absolutely. Do I want these guys to cover, I don't know, dude, some freaking Switch Foot? Y yeah, absolutely. Do I want these guys to cover, like... I don't even know why I said switch foot. Like, I'm sorry. I just think that there's a number of songs out there that I think that this band could cover very, very well. And this song is just proof of that. Terrific cover. Good job, boys. Eye to Eye, Magnolia Park, 100% saved to the Spotify playlist. You guys rock. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Peace out, boys.